Hello friends and welcome to part 2 of Alone in the Dark 2024. What an amazing game and we played a little bit of the prologue in uh, part 1. So go check that out if you haven't. Let's continue. I am so excited about this game. And the worst part is I get scared easily. So expect screaming <laughs> in this playthrough. Hello? Can we see our objective? Detective Conde couldn't believe his eyes. The French Quarter scene before him was dark and sinister. The only sign of life he could see from Jeremy's balcony was the light coming from a lone corner store. Let's go investigate the corner store. Which store is it? That one? That one? I guess that one. Let's get down there. Check it out. I think we checked all this last time, yeah. Didn't have a key for that. I think now is when the game begins to get spooky. If you decide that you like this playthrough and if you decide to subscribe remember to comment it down below and I will thank you personally all right <laughs> hello what the f is that man oh, oh hey, hey, hey they're killing me man get the gun Die, bitch. <sighs> Told you. Now the horror begins. There was one more, yeah? Right? Wasn't there? Where did it go? I don't know. Yeah, I guess I got hurt. Is that when we start drinking? All those drinks that we... Got in the last episode. Okay, so where is that corner store? Can we see a map? That's of no use here. I can't go that way. <laughs> okay. Can't go that way into the trash bin. Go the other way then. What the hell is going on? I have no clue, man. Let's find out. This is the corner store that we were supposed to investigate. Are you... Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this? How? The pack with the dog, man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. You would thank your man, compare. No, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The Tudu? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess. Sorry, Miss Jackson. You know, surprising Ooh, things, compare. Yeah, the mama lower. Here, Sorry. take the key. 
I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you could find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. Keys to ski. What? You need a lot of keys in this game. Preserved reptile. Those are the collectibles, yeah? Nothing in there. So I am hurt. Can I take, have a drink or something? How do I how do I do that? Don't have an inventory. No? You want to come along? Nah, I'm gonna stay here for a while. You scared? Scared the pants? Nothing else we can check out in here? No. Let's go. Into darkness. Where are we supposed to go? <laughs> Detective Conby hesitated to buy into the stranger's explanation, but it was all he had. Baptiste, this mountain of a man, seemed to suggest that this other world they had been pulled into was built from Jeremy's scattered memories. It sounded crazy to him, but Conby couldn't exactly deny the situation he found himself in. Baptiste believed Jeremy was able to move freely between worlds using a talisman he got from Miss Jackson, a voodoo witch doctor that made a good living from alleviating the rich from their ailments and their money. In hope to find Jeremy, or way back to DeSetto, Conby set out to investigate Miss Jackson's place. Let's go find her place. I have no clue which direction to go. We'll just go somewhere and figure it out. Oh. Another one of those ghouls? What the F is that, man? Hello? Items can be thrown at enemies or used to distract. Tap Q, quickly throw the item. I don't think we have an item to <clears throat> to throw. We do have a gun. Crouch, yeah. Maybe it's best to avoid it, yeah. Go that way. Help much. Can't get this way. Please leave, you ugly son of a biatch. What the F is that? <laughs> uh, must find something to distract it with, yeah. Please don't see me. Go there. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Stay over there, man. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. Go away. Stay away from me. I'm dead. I'm cornered. I guess we can't kill it. <laughs> Let's try it again.
Oh, start all the way back from here. It's not that far. Let's do it again. Without dying this time. Can't go that way. Okay, not this time. You can also throw it at him, you know. I don't know if that helps any. I'm supposed to go maybe this way. You need a key. Oh, we have have the key. Huh? Got it from Baptiste. Get drunk! Party! Get the bullets? No? We need them, that's for sure. I hear these creeps. Where are they? I can't see them. Oh, uh oh. Run! Run, Forrest, run! I don't know where to. Oh. I don't believe we can kill them. Please die. Oh, reload. I am so bad. <laughs> okay, so now we know we can kill it with a lot of bullets. Damn it. Only have one bullet left. That is not amazing. Now I guess we can get upstairs. Oh no. Oh no. We only have one bullet, we can't kill it. You know? But we can throw stuff at it. Die bitch! Oh. That way we can save bullets. Yeah? Should have done that from the start. Instead of wasting all the bullets. I guess they are pretty scarce in this game. Choo choo. One of the Lagniappies. You know how to pronounce it? Tell me in the comments. I have no clue. Yeah, more throwables. Is 
Jackson, you in here? Mrs. I recognize this place. It's Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. Old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than a hundred years old. But the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. Alright. I think it's meant for the talisman. Have a puzzle going on here. I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Do we have Jeremy's notes? That was my schematic. Three, five, eight. Try that. Where is three? Which is uh, three, five, eight. Show me something. A place? Where is that? I don't know. Huh. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Detective, I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. Indeed I am. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, Almost too exciting. Like stories, Doc. I'm just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> Why wouldn't that make and for a Ms. short Jackson, visit? Yeah. I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try this. Oh, it's good. Got a bite? <laughs> it's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, oh, well, let me think. He is an anxious like the soundtrack man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. 
He complains about things not being carried out in the right order, and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go. But I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. Thank you. Chapter 2. Now where did Emily go? Yeah. Oh, we went into like another world Detective or something. Carmen. How did you... Where Here's did Emily. you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No, it's not what you think. Have you... Have you found oh, anything yeah, that's strange the, going on here? That's the talisman, yes. yeah? Doing that. Everyone is being incredibly evasive and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective, I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to, I want to try something out. With this talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy to the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? T Tarawea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective? Are you gonna be all right? You're gonna be just fine. Yeah, of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. Find the astronomical... This talisman brought me back from the French Quarter in the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere. Even Teruea. If he can do it, so can I. I just need to figure out how the talisman works. Let's see the objectives. He, he began talking. Then I... While Detective Combi was grateful to be back at Decetto, he was eager to test his hypothesis. After having suffered through that sinister world, dressed as the French Quarter... Jeremy's writing could be read much more literally. What if Jeremy used his talisman to actually visit those places he mentioned in the book? Conby felt certain that this was the answer. He wouldn't find Jeremy hiding inside Decetto. He would be in one of those other worlds. And to follow in his steps... Conby would have to investigate the old clock and the boiler and find out what part they played. Yeah, the bo boiler, we saw that in episode one, yeah? I think so. If that's the boiler he means, I don't know. Okay, now we have the key. Didn't have that at first. Hearing the boiler. I saw you notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop yeah. the steam pouring out. Be careful. Need to find the wine cellar first. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right Just now, like it's important did. that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Well in the kitchen garden. All right. Hello? Who closed the door? 
Room key for room six. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean-Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener, who can occasionally be seen in the conservatory, but is for the most part busy outside. There are currently six guests at Dosetto. Malcolm McCarthy and Ruth Talant reside on the first floor. Jeremy Hartwood, Elisabetta Perosi, Grace Saunders, and of course, Cassandra Beauregard live on the second floor. We have the key for room six. Elisabetta Perosi. Let's find that wine cellar. So we can get the well. You can read all this if you want. Uh, it's too much reading for me. <laughs> I don't like reading games that much. You know. It's part of the lore and story, but I should read them. But I don't have the patience. You know. Looks like all the patients are accounted for, except for Jeremy. There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. Okay. We need to find... Find the digits for that. I need the key. None of those work. Oh, we have a map, yeah. We can have a look. Where to go? Maybe. Not really. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us, yeah? are going crazy we're in the great hall the stair hall this is locked servant stairs uh, I guess we should find the uh, find the wine cellar down there so we get the valve for the boiler To the library. Hello? Lost Plantations of Louisiana, Thierry Briglow, 1917. The Assetto was a small plantation on the eastern shore Again, of Again, you can read all this if you want. The Just pause the video. I don't and want to what... waste too much time for that. No? And these are gonna be long, boring episodes, <laughs> right? Or is I don't know if it's boring. Maybe his story is pretty good. Yeah. Scared the life out of me, man. What 
snow. Hello? Where do we go? There's fire. Happen, man. Everything's normal again. Right. Okay. Things are getting crazy, man. What the f is going on? Oh, there was something with the well down here. Yeah, we had to check. Maybe the well wasn't here. Is this the well you're talking about? No? Remember we saw a well where we could go down into, you know? I don't remember where it was. It was in episode 1. Part 1. Now we should we get in here with the ball cutter. Yeah? <sighs> Got it. Got what? A water hose. Hey. Okay. Anything else in here? No. Okay. Got a water hose. Oh, we're back up here. Check out this place first. Find that well. Well, well, well. Where is the well? Okay, where does this lead? Follow the hose. Complete inside the well. Ooh. Me so smart. It's the broken plate. You need it. Got it. So far, so good. Then what was we supposed to do now? Alright. Alright, alright, alright. One more podcast. One of the collectibles. Boiler room was down here, yeah? Right? No? I guess not. Got a gun! Ooh! 
Can't take it? No? Too bad. Where was that boiler room? Or I guess we need to find the wine cellar first. Yeah? So many ways to go. Hmm. I need the key. Yeah. We haven't been upstairs yet. Let's go check it out. Oh, this looks like those those creatures, you know, we saw outside. That killed us. Red? It's stained. Looks like some kind of rot. This must be the clock that Jeremy wrote about in the commonplace book. Huh. Looks like the plate that held the talisman in the seance room. But it's broken and missing some pieces. Isn't this the piece? Yeah. Then what? Oh, I think we need more pieces, yeah? I need the key. Alright. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, uh, sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything that's fine you know i'm kind of busy with my own case of a missing person i, I was wondering if you've seen grace girl about yay high yep can't say that i have why are you asking didn't we see her in the beginning her. of the game is she in trouble no 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 uh, she's just uh, hiding somewhere but we can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked at a time like this you understand well, I haven't seen her. Well, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your man, Jeremy. You scratch my back, detective. And I'll scratch yours. Hey, I think that will be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching, and if uh, again, if you uh, the sitter, the sitter, is that a word? If you decide to like and subscribe, tell me in the comments down below, and I will thank you personally. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye bye.